Hey guys, it's Cliff again, and if you happen to be minted, which means rich in British English, then you might be building a mansion. I don't know, you could be. And if you are building a mansion, you would be hiring a mansion specialized architect to design your home for you. And like all mansion specialized architects, they will know exactly what rich people want or do they? Okay, so here is the mansion ready to be built. Very beautiful. You have the entrance over here. There's a back garden over there with a nice big swimming pool and all the backyard stuff. And it has all the qualities of a luxury mansion. Nice entrance, a sitting room for the less important people for you to check if they are worthy to enter your home before they actually enter. You are never going to spend any time in here. And then they have the nice grand staircase. So opulent, so grand, so rich. It showcases how amazing your home is. And then you have a dining room, a kitchenette. This is a kitchen they do not cook here. The, 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 I wonder if servants. The staff of the house will cook here outside and then they will bring the food in. This is just for the lady of the house to like do some light baking, things like that. There's a little breakfast area, nice living room, lounge area, and two guest rooms, not for the family. The family will sleep upstairs as they should. So nice mansion. And the family approached me asking me, oh, do you see any problem with this? We want uh, uh, before we build it. And actually, the house is fine. There's not that much problems, but there's always things to fix. Can you see what needs to be fixed? Okay, firstly, we need to understand the client. Now, after speaking to the client, I realized that they are not that kind of rich people. They are not like people who want to show off their wealth, show off how far they have come. They are actually kind of down to earth. Yes, the house is big, but they are not looking for that. They just have a big piece of land, they're building a house, they approach an architect, and the architect delivered this to them. So, which I don't blame the architect because architects are used to rich people wanting things like that, so they just deliver the default. But this family is not like that. They just want a nice environment to bring up their kids. Lucky kids. Anyway, they want a nice environment to bring up their kids. So this kind of goes against the flow of the house. So we need to fix this. This is the first thing that will have to go. Go, go, go. So, but later we talk about that. Do you see any other problems with this house? Look at the kitchen here. There is a breakfast area. There's a dining area here. Now, why would you want to eat at the breakfast area when you have the dining room here? Think about it. This one faces the swimming pool. This one faces the side garden. Why would you want to sit here randomly when the table is just there and they're almost the same size? It is not proportionate. It is not. It doesn't make any sense. Also, in feng shui, this is like a little protrusion. Doesn't It, it, it feels like it's a bit um, excluded from the main home. So this is a problem. There's a lot of empty space over here. So what I would do to fix this one is that I would cancel this breakfast area here. Let's cancel it. Okay, so I'll take a piece of post-it. Not nice plain post-it paper. Stick it there. Yes, that's it. I love white post-it notes. Okay, so that's a, you know, I'll, my white post-it notes. You know, I'll just stick it the other way around so the shadows will be less obvious. Okay, see, use the power of light. You don't see the shadows so much anymore. And then what I will do is that I will move my breakfast area over here. <laughs> and then I'll move my kitchen down. Okay, my kitchen, I'll move it down. This is all empty, useless space anyway. Next thing I will do is that I will move this. So what happens to this area? This area, my staircase is going to disappear, right? My staircase will disappear. I will take this away. Now, I have a reason why I want to make this staircase disappear. Do you know why? Let me just take it properly. Do you know why I want to make my staircase disappear? Take a guess. The reason I want to make my staircase disappear is because this living room right now, this living room right here is facing the front driveway, it's facing this side garden, it's not actually nice. This one facing the pool is nice. Let me stick this properly. This one is actually nice, so it's kind of a shame that you have a living room that's not facing the nice action. So what I will do, I will make this a living room. I'll put my couches over there, couches over here. Very nice. Put a wall here to protect from this energy hitting coming from the entrance area. So it's my nice living room area, right? Beautiful. Where does my staircase go? Actually, the staircase should come around here, but I need a place for my lift. And I don't want to have my lift in between my dining room and my living room. So I'm going to put my lift over there where there is actually space for an eleva elevator. That's how Americans call it, elevator. Okay, so I'll put my elevator over here, which means the staircase should be over here. So very simple, I'll just swap the sitting room and the staircase on either side. So another magic post-it note. Don't you love this thing? Do you know that white post-it notes exist? They're the best thing ever. Okay, anyway, so this one is my white post-it note. Ta, 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 ta. Beautiful. My staircase will come here. 
very very grand so it's you know it's it, it's grand but i mean it's smaller but it's not as it's still not ungrand right it's still nice and here we have our nice sitting room i'll put my little powder room over here actually powder room over here that's great and this is my sitting room for the random people who come and sit and i'll just check if they're worthy to enter my home my grand beautiful home then this room what does this become it says a lounge so now we have a living room that you can actually sit because of the wall it's still private enough you can sit here read a book play board uh, no board games are here this is where you sit and chat as a family where you sit and this is where you actually eat because you're near the pool it's nice and this one is where you can like play board games and stuff like that any problem with here okay not much problem we remember we lost a storeroom here that's fine i'll move my storeroom over here store store and then i need to add more space to this room which i will you see how the building is not symmetrical i'm going to make the building symmetrical now see now it has nice beautiful symmetry beautiful symmetry then this one can be my toilet this one can be my closet my bedroom stays here small small detail over here you see how you have to walk around to get into the to the toilet don't do that just flip them around and so the walkway will be much shorter so these are my notes and this is how the house is will look like if you do it properly see beautiful can you see so you come in through the foyer sitting room is there you have this nice living room it even has a bar you can really entertain live your life as a family over here while looking over the pool deck good lifestyle there's a breakfast area which is actually very attractive it's next to the pool lots of sunshine very bright very accessible you can go out you can have your barbecue the kitchen is over here where it was just wasted square footage anyway the lounge is the same but this lounge that was the formal living room is now a nice games room play room tv room everything you want to have like messy family life because this is a family home it's not for formal rich people to drink tea and host dignitaries you know you want to live your life in here and then staircase still very grand very welcoming i don't see any problem with this not any worse than what we had before and our bedroom see the toilet and then our big storeroom bigger than before in fact and this bedroom it flows so much better now so you can see with just a bit of analysis we have saved this client millions of dollars in building the wrong house and it feels and flows much better for their family so now you know